Hello everyone, my name is Lisa. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited to share Traveler's Factory Narita Airport store tour with you. Without further ado, let's get started. First off, I just want to say congratulations to all the Traveler Factory fans, staff, and those involved with Traveler's Factory. It has finally reopened. We have missed so much for such a long time. So welcome back. For a moment, just enjoy the store tour without my voiceover. I hope you have enjoyed our Traveler's Factory Airport Store Tour so far. How was that? Let's take a look even more. At the airport store, you can see the name of the stamps like some countries or major cities. So this is the Gacha Gacha which contains 11 types of badges here in the capsule and you never know what you can get until it comes out of it if you want one of those uh, you pay 300 yen at a cash register in exchange for the coin that you can only use for gacha gacha here and then put that coin into that machine and turn the lever clockwise until the capsule comes out um, you cannot insert a 100 yen coin If you want to change the back of the badge into a magnet or a charm, you can ask your staff to replace it.
By the way, what is your first letter cover for the Traveler's Notebook? Uh, I picked one of the collaborations of Traveler Factory and Starbucks Wizard Bros. 3, the passport size. Uh, the color is a camel, uh, but actually, I wanted to get an airport one for the first one. Um, when I considered purchasing, unfortunately, the store was closed. Um, also, we never know when to reopen, so I have chosen other options, but now they got back on their feet and I was lucky enough to see the airport letter cover, so I was like, should I buy this or not? And I thought twice and you know, went back and forth looking at the airport letter cover over and over again because their price had gone up about 1,000 yen. Um, yeah, money is all that matters. But one of the staff told me that if I bought things, I wanted to for more than 600, sorry, 6,000 yen, and then showed them my traveler's notebooks, they would give me one of the limited stickers for free. So I was like, what? <laughs> I know this is insane, but I don't want to say no. So I came up with a good idea. Okay, here's the deal. What if I give the airport letter cover for my birthday gift this year? Yeah, that might be okay. Although my birthday is in September. So I won't open it until September. Having said that, you never know. All right, I will be sharing the pictures that I took in the past at Traveler Factory Airport. Um, ever since I purchased the pencil board in 2017, Traveler Factory Airport has always been something special to me. So I was so emotional to see such a beautifully organized greet at the store after they had shut down for such a long period of time so yeah welcome back so for me traveler factory is one of the reasons that i have started a youtube channel so i have missed them a lot since then um after they announced that they were opening me February, that made me really happy and i couldn't wait for it so finally, I was able to visit and check all of the stuff that they had. Yeah, I couldn't be happier. And I tell you one thing that I don't want to share. I guess I stayed there for about an hour or so. So for that moment, I have checked and taken a closer look at almost everything they had. The way they used washi tapes and the stickers and how they drew and painted in a notebook just caught my eye. I just love them more and more. Anyway, uh, remember they closed on Monday and Thursday and open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for the time being. So maybe you should check their website before visiting. So from here, for those who have never been to the Traveler Factory Airport, I'm going to share how to get there in detail. Um, if you have already known, just keep to the timestamps that you want to check. Alright, so once you go through the ticket gate, turn right and you can find the information center and on the right side there are two escalators that go up so take one of them uh, and you can see the convenience store uh, called Lawson on the right and you got three elevators right in front of you um, it might take a little longer if you use escalators so use that one of those uh, once you get to the fourth floor turn left 
and head to McDonald's. You're almost there. Okay, up next, you also got souvenir stores, cafes, and restaurants on the same floor. Uh, here is Starbucks, and as you can see, um, many Japanese mugs and uh, circular items are exclusively sold here. So many travelers are prone to pick some of them as souvenirs. That's nice. Oh, by the way, if you ever consider visiting Japan, I want you to watch the Japanese TV show called You wa nanishi ni nipponye? Meaning, why did you come to Japan or what brought you to Japan if I put it another way? I used to watch it and really love it. It's a kind of documentary and our TV reporter asked them at Narita Airport uh, what brought you to Japan? And then if the answer sounds interesting, uh, the director asked them, can I film your journey? If yes, the documentary starts right away. Um, the travelers usually explore places where even the Japanese don't know or experience something unique, let's say riding their bikes throughout Japan. So check them if you have a chance. I think it's worth it and get some tips or useful information from them. Okay, lastly, after wandering around the souvenir shop, I headed to one of my favorite spots to grab a coffee and take a quick break. Uh, what an amazing view here! I couldn't take a seat at Starbucks because it was too packed. Um, okay, so I will give you a quick flip through of Traveler's Notebook, which I've been using as a traveler journal since 2017 but unfortunately, I seldom use it. So I ended up filling up the country stamps at Traveler Factory Airport. Uh, as I mentioned in another video, you can find these stamps only at Traveler Factory Airport. Uh, I counted how many, and it turns out you got 49 stamps. Okay, so here, uh, is a diner stamp and I like it so much. Uh, before visiting there, I tried to decorate a little bit to stamp some of the airport edition stamps like USA and Hawaii because I wanted to finish my travel journal very soon. I took a look at what I got for new additions while sipping my coffee. This is just perfect. And look at the top left of the receipt. You can see it, an airplane on the leather cover. Uh, I really love to see such a big and beautiful airplane right in front of me while grabbing a cup of coffee. And then my mind gets so clear um, you are able to dump all of the noisy thoughts here yeah I think uh, the last time I visited Nalita Airport was in October 2022 but this time in mid February 2023 I saw many travelers and I realized that things had gotten back on track um, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, people can travel, finally. Um, hopefully, you travel a lot more than ever before and feel in the traveler's notebook. Um, so, what would you like to pick as a travel destination? For me, maybe Spanish-speaking countries like Spain, Mexico, in Costa Rica, I get excited just thinking about it. Alright, 
So, how was the tour at the airport? Did you find something exciting? Let me know in the comment below if you have things you want to try or visit. Um, so, if you have any questions, you can ask me anytime. I'd be happy to get back to you. Um, as always, thank you for your likes and comments. I really appreciate it because it means a lot to me. If this video entertains you, please tap the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!